Welcome to sunrise here in Agmon Hachula at Merot Agur, the crane race. What a place to race at a very fast pace. Here, tourism, agriculture, nature and runners are going to come together. You know what they say? Birds of a feather flock together, but runners in good weather step together. So let's get out there, get to the start and enjoy every step of this magnificent, beautiful location here in the Promised Land. Here we are at the start of Merot Agur, the seventh running of the crane race, a place where you can run at a fast pace. Check it out. It's a mystical morning as we head into the valley. Oh, How are you? <laughs> Fun and you, my brother. Here we are, back with the spirit. Good morning. Good morning. So good to see you out here. You too. The mist is clearing and here we are in the center of the valley. We're running at four minutes a kilometer. We're coming up to five kilometers. 20 minutes and 25 seconds. These are runners from my club, the Breakfast Club in Jerusalem. Oh, there's number one. That was the first half marathon that just passed us. How are you, Shachar? Very good. What's happening today? Running in there. Like one full. This is true. What a beautiful course this is. He has a little trail section, but we're in the middle of the valley. So beautiful. Such good air. It's nice and cool. So it really is the run to try and get your personal best. Come and join us next time. Right, let's head to the 10K mark. Turn around point. Bukit Tov. Go, go, go. Tadala Balakha. <laughs> Always nice to have helpers out there. That's what it's about. Teamwork on the run, teamwork out of the run. Runners from all backgrounds stepping together. And I'm not sure if you can hear the sounds, but check that out. I'll zoom in for you. A huge flock of cranes here in Marotza Agur, the crane race. This is one of the most important migratory routes of birds. A place to rest, a place to feed as they make their way between Europe and Africa. Now they are heading south towards Africa. So what an important conservation project. A perfect synthesis of agriculture, tourism, sport and nature. Thanks to the Jewish National Fund and of course Marathon Israel that put these events together for us. Thank you. Coming up to halfway. Yeah. Keep the pace. Hopefully. What's your name? My name is Boaz. Boaz. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Boaz. Nice meeting you too. What's your name? Shmuel. So why did you come here, Boaz? To try a personal best? Yeah. Yeah. Try the best. Try my personal record. Go for it. Well, I think you've got it. Thank you. You look like you got it. <laughs> I hope. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Good luck. Good morning, sir. Keep quiet. Save your energy. Don't let me disturb you. <laughs> Look at that. Stunning scenery. Stunning stride. All right. Double digits. 10 kilometer. 42, 24. Slow down significantly. But I'm here to enjoy and of course share a few words with you. <laughs> Try and do a negative split. A faster second half. You think you can do it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. A fresh, easy start. Feeling strong for the second half. What's your name? Alon. Looking great, Alon. Thanks. Keep that smile. Bye. Keep inspiring us. How are you doing, brother? 
Fine. You're looking good. Thanks. Are you enjoying every step? Almost. Almost. What do you think of the route so far? Great. Yeah? Amazing. Really it's is amazing. amazing. Listening to the birds, you hear that? The crane's up above. Yeah. Our ghoul. No more talking. No more talking. Concentrate and do your thing. Okay, here's a little wetlands area. A perfect botanical gardens where they've actually placed all of the species that you can see here in the valley. And remember, this is a major conservation success that started in the early days of the state when they drained the swamp to create agricultural fields. But actually, that wasn't a wise thing to do. Hence, reflood the lake and allow the birds en route between Africa and Europe to have a place to rest and to feed. But now, no time for us to rest. We've got some work to do. What's your plan, Nativ? Uh, one hour, uh, 30 minutes. Sub one and a half hour. Yeah. We've got seven kilometers left, so two thirds done. You just need to run a pace of four minutes and 10 seconds, and you've got it. Yeah. How old are you? Uh, 16. 16, friends, young blood here. You know what it's all about. I can see you have the potential to become a great runner. Fresh legs. Thank you for the inspiration. Go for it, Nativ. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Welcome, Austria. <laughs> Excellent. Well, if you keep this pace, you could run a sub 130. So make it happen. Okay. So friends, a welcome to all of our international runners at this wonderful Marathon Israel event. Lots more to come and run. The next one is one of my favorites, Marathon Hamid Bari, the Eilat Desert Marathon. It's the exact opposite of this mountain, desert mountain, beautiful Red Sea. That is a holiday to take and that is a run to experience. Check it out. Register at marathonisrael.co.il and take to the holy steps in the holy land. 10k runners, looking great. Enjoy every step. Yes, brother. Well done. Now you see all the bunches, wonderful smiles, ice cold water. We're nearing the finish. I'm back with Nativ. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go, sir. Come on. Give it horns. Woo! You're looking great. Thanks. You've got it. It's in the bag. Thanks, mate. Sub 130. Thanks. One kilometer to go. Perfect. 170. Left 20. 413. I'm going to take you in sub one hour 30. Let's do it. The finish of the Rotagul. The crane race. At quite a good pace. Stop the clock. Yeah. 29, 27. Wow, what a place to run a good pace. Here we go. Let's go. Here we are. Here we go. Here we are. 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 Exhausted. Okay, guys, we're just moving out the way, but 16 year old running a sub 1 hour 30 here in a race, like I said, to run a good pace in nature, tourism, agriculture, it has it all. So we hope to see you next year. Many events coming up. Check out marathonisrael.co.il. Come and run with us in the desert on the 16th of December this year. We'll see you there. Have yourselves a lovely, hang on, I've got to do this with a GoPro also. Have yourselves a lovely Shabbat Shalom Peace out. How was the run? Yeah, it was great. It was really a beautiful scenery. So I enjoyed it a lot, but my legs were a little bit um, yeah, tired today. <laughs> That's okay, but I think you tipped under one hour 30. 
I think so. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, what was your highlight of this run? If you want to encourage someone to come from Austria, from Europe, anywhere to come and run, why would you say this run is a good choice? Already when you come and you see a little fog, it's really kind of a mystic atmosphere. And then you hear at first the green shouting and also during the race you see them and so it's really good, of, good motivation because the, the, uh, when they are flying it looks that easy so you can try to have the same uh, feeling during running. That's true. Well, your run helped conservation here. Every runner that has come actually is part of conserving this incredible place. Uh, thank you to the JNF and of course Marathon Israel for putting these events together for us. So have a Shabbat Shalom and we'll see you soon. Shabbat Shalom. Ilan, Chef Marathon Israel, look at these delicious spreads. Wow, I don't think I've ever eaten like this after a run. Okay, okay.